Hi Otsumin Gardeners, welcome back to the Otsumin Gardening channel. My name is Emmanuel Arce, well known to be the Otsumin Gardener. Come join me in becoming an Otsumin Gardener day by day. So in today's exciting spawning video, I wanted to dedicate this video to the Plant Good Seed Company. They're an amazing small business out there that not only has great seeds, but they have an abundant amount of varieties to choose from. They have herbs, vegetables, flowers, grains, you name it, they have it. So I'm going to be leaving all their media links down below for you guys to check out. I highly encourage you guys to go follow them on their journey as well as purchase some of their products because they really do deserve it because they're an amazing company. They sent me some seeds for me to try out. I only know one of the seeds which is the common oat which is the entire point of this video but i know they sent out a few more things for me to try out which is going to be in different videos but i do want to unbox it today so let's go ahead and jump right into this unboxing so to point out i really love the color of the packet that they sent them in it's a satin black i really love it so here they have it so this is all the information and here we have it. So let me go ahead and run through real quickly what they sent. So they sent me, I gave them an overall on what I would like and based off of that data, they sent me what they think would be a better fit for me. So they sent me Jade Snap Beans, which is a bush bean. They sent me Dragon Tongue Snap Bean, which is another bush bean. They sent me Butter Crunch Lettuce right here. And they sent me, the whole point of this video, the Common Oats right here. Another thing they sent me was radishes, which is a root crop. They sent me pink beauty radishes, cherry bell radishes, and the purple plum radishes, which is an all good things organic seeds right here. So those are all the seeds that they sent me, a really great variety right here, which I'm highly, highly excited to try out. So now let's go ahead and dedicate this video and show you guys all about how to grow oats from seed. So common oats are actually well known to be sown in early spring so you can have a successful fall production slash harvest. If you live in an area where you do have a winter, you want to make sure you take these precautions seriously so you can have a success rate that is way higher than if you just planted these at any time throughout the year. But if you live in an area where it's tropical or in zones nine and above like I do, you can go ahead and sow these all year round because our winters are very mild. We could actually use these as cover crops as well. If you're a beginner gardener and you don't know the term cover crop, cover crop is technically where you just have a space of a plot where it's not being used and you spray or you sprinkle grains like corn or weeds or barley or common oats doesn't matter what you use you just sprinkle it over there so that plot does not go to waste and you technically naturally amend your soil by growing that and when the crop is dead or completely over with the season you just cut it back and you leave it there and it composes into the soil and amends itself naturally so this is a great cover crop as well but i'm going to be growing this for harvest purpose purposes and for actual edible purposes as well so early spring is when you should sow your common oats so here i have the oats right here and this is the plot i'm going to be growing them in so number one which is the main element or tip that i recommend for you guys to grow cover crops or any type of grain out there is to amend your soil so you can have best production or harvest ever when it comes to crops in general you always want to amend your soil so the nitrogen and any element that's in there to have the best success rate when it comes to growing grains you always have to amend your soil so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and show you guys what i'm going to use so let me go ahead and just clear this up a little bit so I'm going to be using some life cycle organics uh, amendments here. So I'm going to be using some vermiculite. I'm going to be using some compost. I'm going to be using some earthworm castings. I'm also going to be using some super coarse vermiculite right here. And then I'm going to be using some good potting mix from miracle Grow. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these in there, amend it, swift it up or mix it up. And then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the sewing part. So I made the tent right here, so I'm going to go ahead and add two seeds per spot. So I'm going to add two there, two there, two over here, and so on and so forth. So easy. So let me go ahead and plant this entire bed with the oats, and then we'll discuss about growing guide or the care guide for these oats. So I went ahead and planted all my rows or trenches with the oats and I added some fine vermiculite on top. So now here's a few quick growing tips when it comes to keeping your plants or your seeds 
perfect up until harvest time. So number one, the soil has to be constantly moist because oats love moisture. So you wanna make sure you keep watering or check the mo moist level every week. Or if you have a drip irrigation, you're set there. Have just have a set watering schedule. I recommend watering about one time every three to four days. You just always wanna make sure you're staying on top of the moisture level in your garden bed or in the plot that you planted your oats. So always keep the soil constantly moist. Number two is I recommend always fertilizing your oats or grains throughout their growing season or up until harvest time. You always want to fertilize them so they can give you the best possible success rate or harvest that they could possibly provide. So giving them some organic matter like the earthworm castings or earthworm casting tea or compost is the best solutions or elements or amendments that are great for grains because that's what they love. Those are two main points you should keep note of. I don't really know of common diseases that go on oats or anything like that, but just stay vigilant throughout their growing season. And then we're gonna make a different video when it comes to harvest time. So that's the quick growing guide. A few points just to summarize over is has to be in full sun. Soil has to be constantly moist. Fertilizing is highly required throughout their growing season. Stay vigilant for pests and diseases. And that's technically it. So now let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So that's going to be it for this exciting spawning video, you guys. Once again, we discussed everything you should learn on how to grow oats from seed. A huge shout out to the Plant Good Seed Company for partnering with us on this video. They are an amazing seed company. All their media links are down below yet again, as well as a product link for the common oats. Go support them, go follow them on their journey and go purchase some of their seeds because they're an amazing company to choose from and they have great varieties as well. So that's gonna be it for this exciting spreading video. If you learned something new, please leave a like down below. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing to the Ultimate Gardening channel to show us some support. We're a few subscribers away from 2,800 and from there, we're gonna be close to our next milestone, which is 3,000. And I promise you guys, we'll be hosting a huge giveaway. So please, please keep that in, co in consideration. So once again, please subscribe if you want to show the Ultimate Gardening channel some support and leave me any comments down below on what you thought on this video as well as any video suggestions you would like me to make in the near future and I will gladly make them. Thank you all so much for watching this video. May the Lord bless you and your entire family and never forget to grow big Ultimate Gardeners. Bye guys.